Well, you must have something really good. I have an audience every time I eat breakfast. They want my eggs. Oh boy, boy, oh boy. Very vocal audience. Just the one. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? Really? Yeah? Good morning, everybody. So I woke up at about 7 o'clock. I showered and got ready. And I have to leave here at about 9 o'clock, or about 9.30. Uh, originally, I was going to try and leave at about 9.15. To go get my hair colored. It's going to be the black and red again. I think I liked that a lot. So that's what I'm going to do. And I had to wake Kevin up because he never sleeps in. And he did this morning. So I had to wake him up because he has to drive me there. So nothing's going smooth this morning. So I'm trying to get some food in my stomach before we go. But. Later on, it's decorating time, so we'll catch you all later. What did you just say? I said I might stop in the harbor freight. That is very, very mean. Why? Because I'm not going to be with you. How can you go to my store without me? Your store? Harbor yes. freight is your store now? Yes. I, I don't have any stores. No. No. They're all my stores. <clears throat> Every single one of them. Uh. Harbor Freight, Home Depot, Rockler, Gunnall, my stores. Mine. <clears throat> Lowe's? Lowe's. Mine. You can have um, <coughs> Bed Bath & Beyond. Yeah, that's your um, stuff. Bath and Body Works. Um, oh my God. When's the last time I bought anything at any of those stores? I don't know, but you better go shopping. <clears throat> nope. There. My stores. Harbor Free. My, my stores. So I am here at Plaza Hairstyling for Sheila to color my hair. Next time you see me, well, you might see me with some color, aluminum foil stuff in my hair, but the next time you see me without that, my hair will look different. See you all soon. Okay, so now I can really contact my alien planet. See you soon with different color. Now Sheila's going to work her magic. Ta-da! So, babe. Yes, dear? What do you think of my new hair? It's a lot darker than I expected, but it looks nice. You better say it looks nice. I like it. It's a lot darker than I expected, too, because I usually go more red than black. Mm -hmm. This time she went more black than red. That's cool. But I think I like it. It's going to take a little getting used to. Yep. But I like it. Good. So we were just at Spirit Halloween and can't tell you what it is, but they have a prop in there that we decided we want to get. Well, it is sold out in most Spirit Halloweens and online. So there is one store that's about how far away? Uh, maybe 30 minutes. 30, 45 minute drive away that has one in stock they are holding it for us so we are on our way booking it down there to get this prop can't tell you what it is it's a surprise 
Okay, so it's ten minutes to five. I left the house at 9.30 this morning, and I'm just getting home because after I got my hair done, Kevin picked me up and insisted we had to go to all these Halloween stores. Uh -huh. I insisted. And we had to buy all these Halloween things. And this one store didn't have what we wanted in stock locally, so we had to drive 35 minutes to 45 minutes to another store to get it. But it's well worth the drive. You guys can't see what it is, though. So, I'm going to eat. And my plans of starting to do some decorating today not gonna happen. I have a headache and I'm tired. So I'm gonna eat. Hey! So I'm gonna eat and I am going to lay down and watch some TV. Hey guys! Guess what time it is! Why do you always look at me? Because I want you to say what time it is. It's howdy duty time. No, it's not howdy duty time. It's uh, dinner time? No, we already ate. Oh. Okay. It's Pope Kevin time. It's always that. It's shout out time! Woohoo! Guys, notice something a little different? You guys notice this? 19 days. That's because I didn't do what I said I was going to do. I didn't come home and decorate because I was out too long because he made me go to a whole bunch of stores. I, yeah, sure. He did. He handcuffed me and dragged me to, in my wheelchair. He did. He handcuffed me. He made me ride in the back of the truck in the wheelchair and dragged me into all these stores. He did. He did. And then he made me buy all this stuff. Why didn't I vlog any of that? That would have been fun. <laughs> yeah, it would have. Anyway! What? So, move. Uh, move? What? Oh, I gotta show my hair off. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Pretty hair. I usually sure. go more red than black. This time I went more black than red. There you go. And I really like, aww, black roses in a skeleton hand just to match my hair. Yeah. And my soul. <laughs> That's what Megan says, at least. Yeah, I have a black soul. How's that look? Uh, interesting. <laughs> These actually were on the bar the entire time. I don't know if you guys could always see them because they were always behind me. So, anyway, we gave this girl a shout out last night for her Twitter, but she has a YouTube channel as well. Caitlin. How do you say? Dobrint. Dobrint. Shout out to you for your YouTube channel. And John Ambler, I was talking with him for a while today on Twitter, and he said he has asked several times for a shout out, and we just must have missed it because we never gave him a shout out. So I feel really bad about that. So John Ambler, shout out to you for your YouTube channel, and John Ambler123, shout out to you you for your Twitter, and John Ambler, you are going to be on the Neighborhood Community Credit Rolls starting tonight. Yeah. Sandy C6569 commented on today's vlog, oh my god, lol. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. And Daryl says, yeah, that pretty much sums up this vlog, but what part? Give us a little more to go on there, Sandy. So, yeah, kind of want to know. Anyway, I was also telling everybody about how I'm trying to make sure I start following all of your guys' channels and videos if you guys have videos on your channels. And if I'm not subscribed to your channels and you have videos, to let me know so I can subscribe and start watching. And Beauty Queen 12 and Angie Lupus Life both let me know that they have vlogs on their channels. So I subscribe to both of you today, and I will either watch some vlogs later tonight or start watching them tomorrow, but I will start watching your vlogs. Anybody else, let me know. And 
we are getting ghost stories like crazy. 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 We can't wait. Keep them coming. I don't care how many we get. We will do a few vlogs if we have to. I want to sit by the fire pit and just sit there and read these ghost stories and they're not our ghost stories and that's what makes it so much more exciting because you guys all have heard our ghost stories before or if not you can always go back and re-watch those vlogs and hear our ghost, ghost stories these are your ghost stories and everybody has not heard your ghost stories before so it's gonna be interesting I can't wait and I don't care how hot it is, we're doing it by the fire pit. It's hot out there. Yeah, well, wear a tank top and some oh, shorts. Oh, okay, I'll have a snorkel and swim fins. Maybe. Okay, yeah, wear a snorkel and swim fins. I don't care. We're going to be doing it outside by the fire pit. Probably first one will be tomorrow night, so it'll go up on Monday morning. Don't know whose stories are going to be on there, but we will start, and we will let you know. Yay! Yay! And... Uh, Daryl Roper. I almost called you Daryl Dixon. I got dead, Walking Dead on the Brain. It starts tomorrow night. So, so excited. Anyway, Daryl Roper said that when I communicated with Planet Nine yesterday, they did not like what I said to them. Very, very sorry. So I have to make a peace offering to them, and they want to be put on the neighborhood community credit roll and in hopes that they will not attack our planet, I will put them on the neighborhood community credit roll. As of tonight, they will be on the roll. Daryl, I don't know if you had your tinfoil hat on when you communicated with them or not, but um, we sure hope you did and that your brain is not fried and that you are safe. <laughs> Has, and, hasn't plan, Planet Nine been downgraded to a planetoid? Who said who, who who did that? It was on it was on the Big Bang Theory that that he got there, and the uh, Sheldon said he didn't like the guy because of that. What was the guy's name? I don't remember either. If anybody remembers who that scientist was who downgraded Pluto to uh, a planetoid or and not a planet, let us know. I don't like that guy either. I liked Pluto. I did. I wanted to visit Pluto. We already visited Goofy, I guess. <laughs> Finish. Do your thing. Anyway, time oh, for... I thought I was going to get you to pass that. Time for... Nay! <laughs> you knocked my ears off! Oh, no. No more communicating. Time for... <laughs> works, but she just keeps repeating herself until... That's what Go. OCD does for you. Go! You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here if it weren't for you all. We love you. Thumbs up. Thank you. Thumbs up on our videos, on our vlog. Wait, wait, wait. Thumbs up. How do I say that? You are all part of our neighborhood community. So you gonna community. do it again? Yes, this is OCD. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here if it weren't for you all. We love you. Thank you. Thumbs up. Favorite this vlog. Give it a thumbs up. Thank you, and we'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>